Good afternoon, everybody. In today's lesson, we're going to be looking at tuning the guitar because that is one of the most important things that you need to make sure that your guitar is actually in tune. So, I've got my acoustic guitar here, which has an installed tuner. So, if I turn this on here and I play a string, it will tell me if it's in tune or not, and we can tell there it's not in tune. So that would mean I have to then get the correct tuning peg, and for that I played the sixth string, the thickest string, and my tuner showed me that the note was slightly flat. So I need to tune the guitar up to get to the right pitch. So I'm going to tighten the string. And you can hear there, I'm going the wrong way. The pitch is going lower, so I need to turn it the other way. So I play the string first, then move the tuner. And move it slowly. So now, if I show you, it's now in tune-ish. Let's try it again. Tweak it a little bit more. And there we go. Light is showing green, so that is now in tune. Now, I know that you guys have a little clip-on tuner that came in your guitar packages and they work on the same principle as the tuner that's inbuilt within this guitar but as you know as I've shown you you would clip it on to your headstock of your guitar turn it on and then when you are playing your strings it will show within the tuner whether it is in tune or not it will be red if it's not when it turns to green then it shows that it is in tune but obviously you have to make sure that your guitar is tuned to the right notes so we have six strings on the guitar going from the thinnest strings up to the thickest string so as you're looking down at the guitar let's just move this this one here Table's in the way. This is string number one. String number two. String number three. String number four. String number five. And string number six. Now, the tuning that we use is what they call standard tuning. So you have E on string one, B for string two, G for string three, D for string four, A for string five, and E again for string six. So that's known as low E and high E. Another way to tune your guitar is to use an online website or an app on your phone. I've got a few on my phone and they are pretty good. But I'm just going to show you one that is online. So if we have a look here, if we have a look here in the browser, I've typed in Fender Online Tuner and it's this very first link that has come up here. As you can see, it has acoustic, bass, electric guitar, and then this other link, how to tune your acoustic. So we're going to click on this first one here, and it'll load up their website. And as you can see, if we bring it down, you have got links to tune your acoustic, tune your electric, tune your bass, or even tune your ukulele for those of you that have a ukulele so we're just going to click on this one here for a tune your acoustic 
and even within this window you can see you can do a quick instrument check so if you want to change to electric super fast it will just click over so I'll go back to acoustic as you can see we have got the notes here so we've got string number one then two three four five and six with six being the thickest string and number one being the thinnest string and it shows you the tuning for standard as you can see here if you want to choose a different tuning you can change it in this section here for selecting a different tuning to be able to hear the notes that you want to tune to here you just get your cursor click on the note that you want you will hear it and then you tune your string to the same pitch and down here you can loop the note so when you click on it it should just keep on playing should there we go so there's a little bit of a gap but it does it does do that and then change to the next one so we want a and that will loop and then obviously d coming over to g b and e let's just turn off that loop so let's go over here's the electric guitar headstock slightly different but i think that is the one that you should have within the guitars that you've had from school and again that is string number six number five and a number four your d three which is g two which is b and string number one which is another e okay so i've shown you a number of different ways to tune your guitar and this is kind of why it's important if i turn so i've got my guitar there i've changed some of the strings so it is it's not in tune now when you're learning your chords what I'm playing here is an A minor chord and when you're playing your chords you're training your ear to be able to hear the right pitches that are within that chord so you can recognize it but as the guitar is out of tune it doesn't sound like anything but if we quickly tune it up and play that chord again of a chord C major so that will help you to train your ears to be able to hear the chords and hear the pitches of the chords correctly plus it it sounds a lot better okay so every time you get to practice on your guitar you should tune it first okay good luck have fun Catch you in the next video. Bye.